Welcome back everybody. My name is Jim. Thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Tonight we're going to do the first ever 2022 Coachman Cross Trail 23XG. But before we get started, let's say hello to Abby. Hi everyone. Thanks for watching. And Abby, thank you for helping out with the camera. My pleasure. Let's get started. So the Coachman Cross Trail used to be the Coachman Cross Trek. But they had a little issue with Subaru and they had to rename the model. So this is the 23XG. It's been kind of redesigned floor plan and I can't wait to show it to you. Let's do the tire size, cargo carrying capacity, and we'll check out the outside and we'll jump on the inside. All right, let's do it. So this one has the Hankook Dynapros. They are 225-75 R16. Very nice. Steel, steel, they're steel wheels with stainless steel simulators. Uh, cargo carrying capacity on this coach is 2,678 pounds. That's wow. not bad. Yeah. That's pretty good. Thanks, Jimmy. All right. So this coach is built on the E350 uh, van chassis with the brand new 7.3 liter Godzilla motor. Uh, it's a V8 engine made by Ford putting out 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. This guy can Woo. tow 5,000 pounds. Wow. Yeah, that's heavy duty. So let's uh, let's get started on the outside and we'll move to the inside. All right, let's so do it. So this is not a full body paint. It's gel coat fiberglass with the decals. It does have a really nice power awning with the LED strip. Um, right here, you have a really nice outside entertainment. Oh, cool. With a sound bar that you can Bluetooth connect to. And uh, you can play your own music right on that sound box. It's pretty nice. Now that TV does not swivel or anything. It's fixed to uh, a bracket in there. Hmm. Directly below that, you have your propane tank. Hey, for those propane needs. You got it. Right next to that, this has a universal solar port. So that goes directly to your house battery, which is under the entry step. And uh, you can hook up a solar panel to that and it'll charge those batteries. My recommendation would be the ZAMP panels because they have a built-in controller, so you don't need all that stuff. Just solar panel and controller are all built into one and it charges the battery. Set it on a stand on the ground, you're good to go. You do have a 110 outlet on the GFI circuit right there. That's cool. Very nice. We need Lowe's, yep. lots of them. Now this coach is built with Asdell in the sidewall, as most coachmen's are. And that's a green composite board that will not delaminate if water were to get into that sidewall. You do have an outside sprayer port right there. And right here you have your remote propane hookup. Abby, this is what I'm gonna show you that's really different than the rest of the cross trails that we've gotten in so far. Look at that. Oh, wow. What? There is so much room in here, guys. Hi, Jimmy. Now come around this side, check this out. So this is for like maybe somebody that has all kinds of toys. They want to hang stuff from these pegboards that are right here. Oh, wow. You can put like hanging pegboards. So they don't just do that. They actually make the bumper with this step so you can step up and get at anything uh, with these pegboards. Tons, wow. Tons of really storage. That is pretty neat. Storage. So uh, our tech and I today were talking about this and he said that would be the perfect unit if you're doing mobile RV repair or some sort of thing like that, a mobile repair, because you can put all of your parts on pegboards right there, all of your tools and big parts in the big storage area. This is a really neat, or you this can use that neat. for a toy box. Yeah, recreational use. You got it, you got it. So really neat. I really like this, uh, this model, it's pretty cool. Nice job, Coachman. Sharp. Yeah, very nice. And you got these bars to hold on to, so you're, so you're not falling backwards when you're up on that bumper. Um, so this does have a two-inch receiver, 5,000-pound hitch, and they do put the uh, seven-pin connector right over there to the left. So you can tow with this. 
although you're going to need a, a hitch extension to get out past that bumper you can store your sewer tube in that bumper there right here you have your outside uh, water connections this is your uh, park cable hookup your shore power cord your fuel fill and oh that's a city water connection i'm sorry and then your shore power cord right there right here you got your hot water heater tank top water heater and your furnace is right below that now Very most nice. of the cross treks were with that battery inverter and solar setup uh -huh. this one does not have that it has a generator now those Sweet. are on the transit chassis this is on the e-series chassis so they do make two different cross trails one is going to be on the transit and one's going to be on the e-series like this and the last one is just a little storage compartment cute i like how they finish it yeah nice and clean big mm -hmm. window here in the living space and one in the bunk over the cab um, this does have a backup and side view cameras. Abby, that's the outside of this beautiful coach. Let's go take a look at the inside. All right, let's go. Hey, before we head in, look at that nice fiberglass front cap with the lights in it. That's pretty. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, Abby, come on in. Let's show them the inside of this beautiful coach. Now, there are no slide outs in this model, so we don't have to worry about being able to get to everything. You can get to everything. You can get to the refrigerator, the bedroom, and the bathroom, no problem. So we're gonna start out here up at the cab and we'll work our way back. All right. Um, so you got the Ford cab. They kind of redesigned this Ford cab. It now has auto headlights and some other neat features that weren't on the old Ford because the steering wheel's gotten redesigned. You got a head unit with a monitor that slides out and up so you can watch your turn signal and backup camera. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Power windows, power locks, cruise, tilt. Um, this is a bunk over the cab. So this does have, a, if you want to fold this up out of the way so you're not hitting your head climbing in and out, you can do that. Um, it has a net here that you can plug into these. So you got little kids up there or bins. They don't fall out of the bunk over the cab. But you do have a ladder that hooks on here to be able to get up in and out of that bunk over the cab. The transit version does not come with this bunk over the cab. So that's a nice yep, feature because you're adding a sleeper. And I really like that they put I that fan up there with the max air cover. That's a pretty nice size. Yeah, you got a window too. on that side. You got your TV on this side on a swing arm. So you can pull that out and swivel it around. It'll actually come out a lot further. Look at how far that comes out. So U-shaped dinette here. You got a, a nice view from the U-shaped dinette. You can take that table out to make it a like a U-shaped lounge. It's actually backwards. There we go. That was bugging me. <laughs> and uh, this also goes down to a sleeper. So you do have three sleeping spaces in this coach. Cool. Very nice. This you is this is simple but so big. I love it. It is. It's 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 got a lot of space and a lot of usable space. You got a USB charging port and an HDMI to the TV. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to put a gaming system or a DVD player in this cubby right over here. You can reach to the HDMI right there, and that goes directly to the back of the TV. Wow. Almost all of your controls are right here. Mm -hmm. This does have a Wi-Fi Ranger. Very nice. Um, so you got some controls down here, too, with your uh, your cap light, um, your awning switch, and your 12-volt disconnect. You know what? I don't have the power on in here. There we go. Very nice. Now, this does have the hydroformed laminate countertops on both the kitchen and the table here. So what that means is they wrap the laminate around the edge so there's no way for water to get inside. That's a nice feature. It's nice if you don't have the solid surface countertops to have something like that. Three burner cooktop with the light and it does have the oven on the bottom. That actually has a light too. And you got your microwave right up here. And a hood. That hood is vented outside. Really nice. It's got a light and a fan on it. All right, everybody, here's where I'm gonna ask you for some help. Uh, this channel is about bringing you awesome new product like this and taking your feedback back to the manufacturers. So do me a favor and leave some feedback in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Um, got a nice refrigerator right here. So this is a 12 volt refrigerator, just runs off the batteries. Mm -hmm. I really like that feature. A little Sounds bit of storage over top of the, wow, that's a lot of storage. Look how deep that is. Wow, that's a good amount of storage. And then you have another cabinet right here next to the microwave. Oh, that's big. Look at that TV remote. 
You're getting your nice. cereal boxes in there. Absolutely. Sure. Then you even have more storage over here. And there, and there. And that goes all the way from one side to the other side. That's huge. Very nice. Great. Vinyl flooring throughout. Now this, you have a nice hanging wardrobe right here. Plenty of, have a, a bar there to hang your clothes. Mm-hmm. Very nice. And then directly below that, you have two drawers, and then the furnace is over on this side. Very nice. Yep. This <laughs> even has a child safety tether right there. So if you want to put a car seat in that U-shaped donut, you can hook it right to the child safety seat tether right there. Abby, they're even doing a, look at this. This is a Serta mattress. Really nice pillow top mattress. This is really nice. You got lots of storage all the way around the top here. Cool. Wraps. I like that. <laughs> I haven't I really seen like anything this like this. This is really neat. I see we got a padded headboard. I like that. And the bathroom. Coachman, I'm impressed. <laughs> this is this is a little small. I don't know if you're having any good clean fun in here. Oh, I can so definitely maybe. shower in this, no problem. Not a real fan of this. It is what it is though. Not a lot of countertop space in here, but again, 24 footer, no slides. You got the plastic toilet with the pedal flush. But this is a price point model, so not gonna have a, a We've ton been of camping vehicle. so much lately. I went to the use the bathroom and I went at home and tried to use a pedal to flush it. <laughs> I'm like, that's, that's how you know when you've been camping too much. This isn't bad. I mean, you're, you're, you're tight in here, but even with the door shut, I got plenty of space to sit on this toilet. It's a small bathroom, but it's usable how they used how they did the space. I don't know that I'd be able to change in here. I might want to come out for that. But neat, neat little unit. Yep. All I right, dig cool. it. So let's, uh, let's give them a one stir and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys. It'll be a quick one stir. This thing's tiny. Coachman Cross Trail. That's right. Brought to you by the RV Concierge. Replacing the Coachman Cross Trek. All right, everybody, this is the 2022 Coachman Cross Trail 23XG. If you would like to know more, if you have any questions, you can text, call, or email me. Information is right there. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Stay tuned for more. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Please subscribe.